in today's video, I'm back with some DIY phone cases. So this is my current phone case. It is so big and obnoxious. Actually, I feel kind of bad about saying this because Kane bought me this for Christmas. I love this phone case. It's amazing. It is like so big and obnoxious and like sticky that I cannot put it in a bag or in my pockets. So I just always have it in my hand like this. Because I'm like super cheap and I'm like trying to save my money to spend it on like better things. <laughs> We're gonna be DIYing some. Give this video a thumbs up if you guys like DIYs and comment down below what other DIYs you wanna see. I'm thinking I wanna do more like room decor videos. I also have planned one DIY specifically, but like I'm gonna keep that on the DL because I'm very excited. And also in the comment section, let me know what kind of phone you guys have. I used to have a Samsung and now I have an iPhone and I prefer my Samsung, I want it back. But let me know what kind of phone you guys have. Android, Samsung, Hawaii, however you say that, let me know. And hopefully you guys like this video, hit subscribe if you guys haven't already. And also if you guys aren't following me on my Instagram, come say hey. This is it, right here. I always reply to comments. I'm doing like spirit fingers. <laughs> and let's get in to the video. This first phone case is inspired by one that I found online and it was like a transparent tumbler looking phone case but like I'm pretty sure that phone case was like $35 and I'm not trying to spend that much money on a phone case. So this one is super easy to make all you guys need to do is just print out some tumbler PNGs and pro tip if you guys want to find the cutest ones just go on Pinterest and search up tumbler PNGs and cute stuff will come up. But once you've gone in and printed out all of your pictures, you just want to take a clear phone case and some Mod Podge and just do a super, super thin layer of Mod Podge on the inside of the case. I found a bunch of phone cases in a store. I think they were like a dollar or so each, maybe less. Just in case you guys were curious, but just go in and stick down all of your pictures on the Mod Podge coated side. Wait a little bit for it to dry and then go in with a second layer of Mod Podge over the top to seal it in. And you guys are pretty much done. You just want to leave it to dry for a couple of hours and you have the most Tumblr phone case ever and you still did not spend $35. No shade at the phone case companies. Number two is inspired by me as a child. Like literally, I don't know if you guys remember the tattoos that you would get in like little candy wrappers, but I used to stick them on to everything. So just taking some flash tattoos and a clear hard phone case, I am just going to cut out a template that is the shape of my phone case. So just trace around your phone case and you guys should basically have it. You might just need to touch it up a little bit. After that, you just want to follow the regular tattoo, temporary tattoo instructions, which is usually to just peel off the clear coating on the top, sit it onto the surface that you want to stick it onto, which would obviously normally be skin, but we're doing it on phone cases. And then you just want to take a damp washer and just pat that on to your phone case. And I was so careful to make sure that this was completely soaked because I didn't want to stuff it up. I stupidly only bought one packet of flash tattoos, so I was... I was very nervous that it wasn't gonna work. And to be super careful, you could go in with a layer of Mod Podge over the top of the temporary tattoo to make sure it doesn't scratch off. idea that I have for you guys is super easy so if you guys have like two minutes but you want a super cute phone case then don't worry I got you. Taking a piece of craft paper you just want to start off by tracing the size of your phone case out onto the craft paper so you've got like a little template and just cut that out. With a second piece of craft paper I took another piece that kind of like matched the color but like it was patterned it has like palm leaves on it I'm also tracing out the same template onto that piece but instead this time I am cutting it in half on a slant so I can stick it straight on top to the plain piece to give it like a little two-toned situation. With a second piece of craft paper you're good to go and just stick that straight on top of the plain piece. Moving on, I took this little coffee sticker that I ordered online like a bajillion years ago and I didn't know what to use it for. I literally bought it because it says coffee and I thought it was 
I thought it was cute. So I just stuck that on to my craft paper and then just taking the little insert that I just made, I slotted it into my phone, cut out the phone camera hole so I can still take photos. And that is it. It's like the easiest phone case ever, guys. Trust me. number four I actually had a completely different DIY in my head that I was going to do but when I tried to do it it was with nail polish it was such a fail so I was like why not just marble something instead so if you guys have never tried marbling something with nail polish it's actually super fun you just want to take a dish put some water in it just make sure that your water is room temperature otherwise sometimes this doesn't work and kicking it off, you just want to start pouring nail polish into your dish of water. So I started off with white and then I went for pink. You just want to drop it straight on top of one another because they spread out heaps anyway. So just keep going with all your fave colors. And don't worry if you guys stuff it up, you can just take like a Q-tip and scrape all of the nail polish out of the water. It comes off super easy so you guys can start again. To get the marble design though, I just took a Q-tip and kind of like swirled it through the water. And as you keep swirling, the design just starts to look like a marble effect. And once you're happy with how the marble effect looks in the water, you can sit your phone case face down into the water. And once you pick it up, it will be covered in the most beautiful marble design ever. It's like magic. I don't know how it sticks and how it works, but like, it's very cool. You just cover your phone case in a coat of Mod Podge to make sure the nail polish doesn't scrape off and you are good to go. Be free. Hopefully you guys liked it. Make sure to comment down below. Let me know what kind of phone you guys have. And also, let me know which one was your favorite phone case. Also, if you guys want to come chat, come say hey on Instagram. And I hope you guys are having an awesome day. If you guys haven't already, hit subscribe. Make sure to hit subscribe. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!